This is uh, a very difficult question on the one hand and it's a question we have to answer much more often than we would th think actually. So looking at the registries we have like almost a quarter of all patients being older than 60 years and many of them are presenting with advanced stage disease and basically there is no standard of care. If you look into the textbooks then it will be ABVD but the trials and registry that have been shown in the last years, in the recent years, the large American trial, the E2496 study, and uh, the British uh, registry, um, they, they both show the same result. ABVD is not feasible in this patient cohort in advanced stage disease. This is not true for early stage disease because it's only two or four cycles, which is feasible. But six or eight cycles, certainly not feasible, especially pulmonary toxicity with bleomycin is unacceptable. So um, we don't have a standard of care and this is due to the vulnerability of these older patients. You just can't administer chemotherapy as you can do it with younger patients. So whenever you are more active by intensifying your treatment you will have more side effects and treatment related mortality actually. So there's overall there's no benefit of intensifying chemotherapy. That's why we have to go completely new ways to improve on the results we have with chemotherapy. And again, here we have a situation right now where new drugs are developed. We have uh, implemented lenalidomide into the AVD regimen with very promising results which are shown on the EHA this year. And we are currently planning and conducting actually a study in combination with the Nordic Lymphoma Group um, on a modified CHOP regimen in which the vincristine is replaced by bentaximab and again then we hope that we have a much better tolerable regimen. We know we can administer CHOP to older patients and it will be less toxic in terms of neurotoxicity than CHOP obviously. That's our experience from the targeted BCOP trial already. And it might be uh, active, hopefully it will be active also. So there's, um, there's many things going on in the moment to improve treatment for these patients by adding or implementing non-conventional chemotherapy because we know for sure with chemotherapy we won't improve treatment for older patients.